Chapman getting a chance to now throw his first bullpen at Yankee Stadium. Again, Boone revealing that information yesterday that you just discussed, that Sanchez and Chapman were waiting for their test results. And again, this is the new normal in 2020. Until you test negative and it's proven that you do not have COVID-19, you cannot join your teammates. That's why Chapman and Sanchez are a couple of days late. And as we see Chapman on the mound, Bob, I don't know if you checked out his Instagram account yeah. <laughs> during the quarantine, during the pandemic. This guy stayed in shape. This guy stayed busy. Not only was he posting some of his bullpen sessions, I would not want to get in a boxing ring with the oh. Chapman. <laughs> he showed some of his boxing workouts, and uh, this guy is a fierce and ferocious athletic specimen. You know, I was thinking about this because I think one of the videos he had was him throwing in his backyard to somebody. And then Meredith yesterday talking to James Paxton, he had a buddy who caught him during the offseason around his house. And I'm thinking, how would you like to be those guys? You know, you've got a Roldis Chapman in his backyard. You might have catcher's gear on, and he's throwing 90, 95, 96 at you. Here's what I'm hoping, Bob, and I'm believing in James Paxton and a Roldis Chapman and everyone else who throws high 90s fastball. You're not taking the guy who last caught in Little League. Right. You're taking the guy who's got a little college experience, <laughs> maybe at the minimum some, some high school experience, but you're not putting anybody behind there who suddenly you're going to short hop a 98-mile-per-hour fastball and you're, you're taking out their shin. So his 70-year-old next-door neighbor, is, he's off the list as far as a catcher goes. He can watch yeah. from, a, from a socially distanced, right. safe spot, but we're not giving him the gear. <laughs> All right.